In this video we will discuss on anatomy of lumbosacral plexus. For better understanding please watch the introductory video on spinal nerves before proceeding further. Let's discuss the sacral plexus in detail in this video. The sacral plexus is formed by the ventral ramus of S1 to S4 spinal nerves and lumbosacral trunk, which formed by L4 and L5 spinal nerves. Each nerve forming the plexus divides into anterior and posterior divisions, except the S4 nerve. These divisions unite together to form five major peripheral nerves of the sacral plexus. Namely, sciatic nerve, superior gluteal nerve, inferior gluteal nerve, posterior femoral cutaneous nerve, and pudental nerve. Let's discuss each one of them in detail. Sciatic nerve is the largest branch of the sacral plexus, and it is the largest nerve in the human body. It has two parts, the tibial part, which is formed by anterior divisions of ventral rami of L4, L5, S1, S2, and S3. The second part is common peroneal part, which is formed by the posterior divisions of the ventral rami of L4 to S2. The nerve exits the pelvic cavity via the greater sciatic foramen. Then it passes down along the back of the thigh to popliteal fossa. Sciatic nerve has no cutaneous supply in the thigh. In the thigh it supplies the all the muscles of posterior compartment. Common peroneal part of the sciatic nerve supplies only the short head of biceps femoris, and rest of the posterior compartment of thigh muscles are supplied by the tibial portion, namely, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, the long head of biceps femoris, and ischial head of adductor magnus. Near the popliteal fossa, the sciatic nerve divides into common peroneal and tibial nerves. The tibial nerve travels down the posterior compartment of the leg into sole of the foot. It supplies the muscles of the posterior compartment of the leg, like gastrocnemius, soleus, plantaris, and popliteus muscles. The tibial nerve gives off a cutaneous branch called medial sural nerve at the popliteal fossa. It supplies the skin of the lower half of the back of the leg, and lateral border of the foot until the tip of the little toe. It gives off a cutaneous branch in back of the leg called medial calcaneal nerve, which supplies the skin of back and lower surface of the heel. In the foot, the tibial nerve terminates into medial and lateral plantar nerves. The medial plantar nerve supplies the abductor hallucis, the flexor digitorum brevis, the flexor hallucis brevis, and the first lumbrical. Cutaneous distribution of the medial plantar nerve is the medial part of sole and medial three and half toes through four digital branches. The lateral plantar supplies the skin of the fifth toe and lateral half of the fourth, as well as most of the deep muscles of the sole. The common peroneal nerve travels down and divides into superficial peroneal and deep peroneal nerves. Common peroneal nerve gives off lateral sural cutaneous nerve, and it supplies the skin of the upper two-thirds of the lateral side of leg. The superficial peroneal nerve enters the lateral compartment of the leg, and it supplies muscular branches to peroneus longus and peroneus brevis. It also supplies the lower third of lateral side of leg. The deep peroneal nerve travels down the anterior compartment of the leg, along with anterior tibial artery. It supplies the anterior compartment muscles, namely, tibialis anterior, extensor hallucis longus, extensor digitorum longus, and peroneus tertius. In the foot, the deep peroneal nerve terminates into medial and lateral branches. The medial branch accompanies the dorsalis pedis artery, and at the first interosseous space, divides into two dorsal digital nerves which supply the adjacent sides of the great and second toes. The lateral branch supplies the extensor digitorum brevis and extensor hallucis brevis. The superficial peroneal nerve is divided into medial and lateral branches. The medial branch divides into two dorsal digital nerves. One for the medial side of the big toe and the other for the adjoining sides of the second and third toes. The lateral branch divides into two dorsal digital nerves for the adjoining sides of the third and fourth and fourth and fifth toes. Superior gluteal nerve is formed from the posterior divisions of ventral rami of L4, L5, and S1. It supplies tensor fasciae lata, gluteus medius, and gluteus minimus. 
Inferior gluteal nerve is formed by the posterior divisions of the ventral rami of L5, S1, and S2. It supplies gluteus maximus. Posterior femoral cutaneous nerve is the only branch of the sacral plexus that receives fibers from both anterior and posterior divisions of ventral rami of sacral spinal nerves. It is formed by posterior divisions of S1 and S2 and anterior divisions of S2 and S3. It has no muscular branches. It supplies the skin on posterior surface of thigh, leg, and skin of perineum. Pudental nerve is formed by the anterior divisions of the ventral rami of S2, S3, and S4. It gives rise to inferior rectal nerve, perineal nerve, and dorsal nerve of the clitoris, or penis. The additional branches of sacral plexus are, perforating cutaneous nerve, which supplies the skin over the inferior gluteal region. The pelvic splanchnic nerves, which innervate the abdominal viscera. And other muscular branches are, nerve to piriformis, nerve to obturator internus, and nerve to quadratus femoris. The coccygeal plexus is formed by the fifth sacral nerve and the coccygeal nerve. It gives rise to the anacoccygeal nerve. It pierces the sacrotuberous ligament to supply the skin in the region of the coccyx, as well as the sacrococcygeal joint. With this we complete the sacral and coccygeal plexus. Hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching the video.